Another really cool feature of Spore that I don't think going through the demo this fast communicates is that every level increases your ability to zoom out, you know? So now that you're uh, in space, for the first time ever, you can zoom all the way out and see your entire, you know, one side of your planet. And the really cool thing to remember is, by this stage, you made most of the things that are on that planet. You made the buildings, you made the vehicles, you made your UFO, you made the creatures. So this really does feel like your home planet, you know? Other games say, oh, this is your home planet, you know, it's part of a cutscene and you've never seen it before in your life. But in Spore, by this stage, you finally see your home planet and it really is something that you made. You'll also say, oh, that's where I crawled out of the primordial soup and that's where I built my first heart and that's where I fought that great battle and all that sort of stuff, you know? And if we zoom further out, you can get the solar system view. And here, you can start to see the other, the other planets and objects that are circling your sun. So let's zoom in and see what that is. It looks a bit like a barren rock. Let's not go there. And here you start to see all of the other cool planet scripts that we have. You know, they have you know, different colored oceans and different climates and weird effects and different you know, land formations and of course different creatures find some creatures. Oh. There's one. Uh, space is more of an open-ended game, so now that you've hit here, there's really no end to it, you know, and a lot of it is about seeing new content, exploring new, you know, new worlds, and also, like, uh, you know, fooling around with the content that you find on these worlds. So each one of these icons represents kind of like a bucket of tools. Here you've got some, you know, combat tools, so you can say, you know, I'm going to laser that poor creature. Or you could say, you know, I'm going to shoot them. But over here you might say, oh, you know what, actually, that's a really cool creature. I'm going to take him back to my home planet, you know, and, and set him down there and see what happens. Or I could drop him. Or I could throw him. <laughs> and that barren planet you saw earlier, if you wanted to and you had the resources, you could actually terraform it. You have a whole suite of terraforming tools, you know, you can raise and lower the terrain, raise and lower the water. Or if the planet doesn't have any water, you can bring water to it by grabbing ice comets and basically slamming them down into the planet's surface. This is a good thing to do on a barren, rocky world. It's a foolish thing to do on a world like this, where it's already full of water. So I basically drowned the planet.